Hey everybody, this is Derek, and this is a quick look at OpenShot. OpenShot is a video editor available for Linux, Mac, uh, OS, and Windows. It is very impressive to me because it has a very user-friendly interface, better than many uh, open source or freeware video editors that I've seen online. It is pretty powerful, uh, so I wanted to take a quick minute and show you what it looked like to use. So here's the OpenShot video editor. It doesn't look all that dissimilar from iMovie, movie, if you've used that tool before. Uh, you have a project files pane where you can click the plus sign and import files. I've already done, uh, done that and imported a file of an interview that I had recently. I um, can click and drag the video into my browser, and then you can see uh, up here in the top right, there's a preview pane. If I wanna do basic functions like uh, cutting up the video track, I can do that by using the slice effect. That basically makes a break in the video in between the two points. And so I can separate them out or I can delete this one piece. You can also right click on the track at any point and then do things like um, fades or uh, increase the time of an individual clip or the audio. You can even separate the audio into another channel, which if you've edited video before is pretty convenient because that means that you can have audio from an interview playing and, and show some B-roll footage over it fairly easily. Um, the other thing that I will show is that it has a decent library of effects, so you can transition. Uh, really, the only one that you probably need to use is the, the fade or the wipe. Um, all these other ones are kind of silly, but, you know, they're there if you want them. Um, and there are effects, so you can uh, pixelate. You can also create uh, titles, so these are text um, text fields that go over your video um, and you can customize the color, the text, the font, whatnot, and change what it says. Um, and <laughs> as you can see, the, the software runs okay on uh, my laptop, but it does, you know, this is not running in the cloud, so it's running on your desktop. You will still need some way to like run video editing software. And then, you know, I, the last thing I'll say about it is that there are decent timeline controls. You can zoom in and out in terms of timing. You can make uh, clips magnetic so that they will snap directly one upon the other, or you can undo that and um, have manually set the space between the individual clips. Um, it's a pretty powerful tool. And then the output, just very briefly, you can export the video with a ton of different profiles. So you can select um, whatever profiles you want here, or you can choose a bunch of different options. Um, <laughs> here's the one that I was thinking of. You can export in 4K if that's your, your pleasure, or get all the way down to, um, oh gosh, uh, yeah. Uh, like li really low resolution uh, NS NTSC, just if that finds, if that floats your boat. It's a pretty cool tool. It's very powerful and it's open source. So what's not to like about something like that? Okay. Thanks for watching.